Greetings friends and welcome back. I'm Flop and this is my let's play of Legacy of the Void. We are closing in on the end of the campaign and it is time for action. We've heard enough talk. Uh, we've got hybrid Zerg. There might even be Mobius core down there. You never know. And, and we're going to start off with heroes. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, buddy. The dream team right here. Pretty stoked to see Alarax abilities. Rohanas. Artanis. I haven't played with him in Legacy of the Void, though I do kind of look forward to it. Uh, we've already used him in this campaign, however. Presumably he'll have similar abilities. And I'm curious if Phoenix, I'm curious what Phoenix brings to the table, and if the that's what he's been using whenever we drop him in. Formed from the lattice of Kedaran crystals embedded within the planet's crust. Its power structures can only be accessed from three points. If we destroy them, it should disable the warp network. I like how pieces of like the outer structure are just levitating. We're preventing the biggest mass recall in history. Thorazum, Alarak, you must enter the citadel of the Executor to reach the first power structure. But the city has been infested. No matter. We shall purge Antioch of the Zerg. <laughs> All by ourselves. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. What do we got? We got both of these guys. Three and a four. Rapidly regenerating shields, huh? All right, Alarak unleashes a massive wave of force in a straight line, dealing 50 damage plus 25 versus air to enemies in its path and knocking them back. Very short cooldown. Massive units knock back less. Okay. Heals 20 life and restores 20 shields when a nearby biological unit is slain because he's creepy. And he's got an auto 5 second cooldown charge where he does 200 damage, which is crazy. With 200 shields and 200 life, he's not a super tank. Um, and 20 damage. Yeah, okay. He's mostly ability driven, I would think. Whoa, Shadow Scythe, 100 damage. Less armor and uh, on shields and weaker than Alarak. Does say she rapidly. Uh, okay, Vorazun is permanently cloaked, shield regeneration rate greatly increased while she is undetected. Alright. She can only be hit when she's detected, I assume, unless there's AoE attacks. Uh, but that's good to know. Teleport to the target location and reset Shadow Fury's cooldown every 15 seconds. Rapidly teleport to random enemies within 5 radius 8 times, attacking each of them for 60 damage. Single target can be hit more than once. She's got this like 7 sided strike. Okay. Uh, let's say 1. Are the Zerg who defeated you? Pitiful. They too shall fall before All my right. power. <laughs> Tell me, how did you lose ire to these animals? Did they leap up and chew upon your starships? Harsh. The Zerg were once the greatest threat my people faced. Only a fool would understand. Okay, we will teleport her in, which will reset her ability. Well, I will bow to your experience. Where it does extra damage to air. 
Can Alarak attack air? Apparently, that's the only anti-air I have. I hesitate to think what you would do without me. You are about to find out. This gate is sealed from the other side, and I shall move through the shadows to open it. Oh, uh, that's the not what... The enemy will never see me. It's not what, you, what they meant, huh? All right. They what can a waste. My presence. Better to avoid them. Mm. Let's wait for that cooldown. I feel like I can jump over there. Nope. Come and get me, bros. Oh, they don't care. Nope. <laughs> oh, hero units. Are you done yet? Or do I need to keep slaughtering the Zerg here? I mean, that would have been awesome if he was getting attacked the whole time. Finally. Now let us continue. Baneling didn't hurt her. Uh, Alaric is awfully fun to use. No, Alaric, no. are swarming on mass. I would do my best to remain undetected if I were you. Thanks. Uh-oh. Oh, look, it moved. Hmm. I see, they kind of... Dice, huh? All right. Can't get over that. Oh, sneak, 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 sneak. Oh, sneak, sneak, motherfucker. We have nearly reached the power structure. Press forward, High Lord. Orders from you. <laughs> he can heal himself. Oh, 
it's not too much problem for him. He does take a second to get into the position. He just doesn't instantly launch the attack. Then let us try a more direct approach. Guard me while I prepare. The Zerg will surely sense my growing power. My awesomeness will be sensed by the Zerg. What I should really be doing is waiting for C to cool down on its own. And then I can get two uses out of it. When I refresh it with Shadow Dash, then I. There we go. That's what we were waiting for. Even though the teleport refreshes sooner, you only get one use if you continuously use that. <laughs> and Alarak just rushes. You didn't just blast open the door. Both the Zerg and the power structure will trouble us no more. Contact the others. And tell them <laughs> the victory I have brought you. Rohana, Alarak and I have destroyed the power structure. Mm. Way Alert to claim all the credit, Rohana. Alright, what we've all been waiting for. Phoenix, the loss of the first power structure has not gone unnoticed. Hybrid have convened to defend the area. Good. They shall suffer the full extent of my wrath. Yes. All in good time, friend Phoenix. The Hybrid are a powerful foe. And if we're going to face them, we will need support. I've spent quite some time studying... Remember, this energy. is one of our bonus achievement objectives. robotic units and structures from Amon. That is a sin of our army, so a hybrid may fall before it. Okay, let us once again examine our dudes. Phoenix is extra tough. 60 damage, 100 versus armored. 800 total health, 500 of that shields. All of his attacks are on auto cast. Okay, he's got a stun charge. He's got a whirlwind attack on a 20 second cooldown. And his shields automatically recharge, giving you an effective 1300 health. Uh, effective 1000 shields on a 45 second cooldown, which means they have to do 1000 damage with, to him within 45 seconds. That's not too bad. Okay, and on the weaker side... Karax with as much health uh, as Vorazun uh, does not do so awesome. He does decent damage versus armored for a unit, but not for a hero, really. Reclamation, five second cooldown, takes control of target enemy robotic or unit or structure. Uh -huh. Robotic units, sentries, and mortals, reavers, colossi, just in case you didn't know. Generates a power field similar to a pylon and doubles the attack speed and production speed of things he's next to. Phase in a photon cannon that lasts for 30 seconds before leaving the battlefield so he can create instant cannons in a radius around him. Interesting. All right. So we don't really have to worry about Phoenix here. Um, I cannot free the pilot from Amon's grasp, but I should be able to take control of it. 
Oh, well, that's awesome. I am not detecting any robotic units ahead. I suppose now would be a good time to phase in some photon cannons. Yeah, Phoenix has got this. The Templar is too. The power structure lies ahead, but the temple grounds are hmm. vast. Hmm. Centuries, immortals, colossi, reapers. We should reclaim as many as right, possible back off. before no, proceeding. No. I can reclaim the gateway and robotics facility in this area. We could then supplement our forces with the units of our choosing. A clever plan. systems were compromised by Amon, yes, I believe I could purify them. That is not exactly what he asked. Look at these immortals. Are these... Okay. They are. Oops. Okay, bring that puppy online. We can build some sentries if we need it. We can build immortals. Uh, let's see what we have to worry about first. Immortals are probably a good idea, but... Uh, try. Double shield recharge and guardian shield if we need it. We are going to be incredibly hard to take down with all these really potent mechanical units. I'm detecting a robotic support bay nearby. If we can claim it, we can construct colossi. Nope, nope. Okay, reclaim, obviously, uber OP. Mm -hmm. Glad I ch saved all my resources. Oh, not all the resources. We'll go back and get those. There's uh, some looking to do. Is this one of those Dreadwalker things, or is it... No, it's a regular Colossus. So your mission choice, your uh, loadout choices don't seem to affect this place. Could I build anything better than Colossi from this robotics unit? Uh, no. The answer is no. So let's go ahead and build them before we walk over to the other place. They can only help. Phoenix is very quick. I kind of like how he has backup legs. I think that's pretty cool. Mm. All right, I'm not planning on coming back, I guess. Yes. <laughs> well, this is an implausibly awesome army. You guys, why don't you hold back? Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. Whoops. Sorry, bro. Alright, we 
way too many goodies. It's hard to imagine losing this. One of the things about these missions where you control so many heroes, they're kind of hard to lose. Um, on Brutal, you think there's this point where your heroes can only be so potent, so they kind of have to let you through. Like, there's only so much you can do with the resources, limited resources they give you. They can't expect too much. You may have to use everything to the max, but you know it's totally possible. The other missions can feel kind of impossible sometimes. But since they only give you like one facility type mission in the game. Sensors are showing a lot of reavers up ahead. Reclaiming them would be risky, but their firepower would be a huge asset. Yeah, we got that. Let's just send the heroes in to do this one. If there's anyone who can take reaver shots, it's Phoenix. Phoenix did take a serious hit there, but he's tough. got is utterly fantastic. The way is open. All right. We're on top of it. Keep it together, man. Just recharge his shields since they're low. With the hybrid it would take years for that to come back. Power structure. Whoa, dude! Eric's was holding back this whole time. Matrix was never meant to be dismantled like this. It has released a massive overflow of psionic energy from the surface of Iron. Okay, this is where we don't lose units. Tassadar is ready. Hyrock, I fear you are in great peril. Psionic energy is gathering in the cavern behind. This is basically something that just simply pushes us forward. Position. That's kind of what it looks like. Do not fear, Kara. My warriors and I will keep ahead of the energy storm. Victory is still within our grasp. All right, we just have to be moving ahead. I am sending my Dark Templar to clear the path ahead. They shall aid your advance. As will the purifiers, deploying your prisons. Okay. The Taldarine shall win this battle for you. My warriors are joining your forces now. Okay, so these guys are going to be our forward troops. What's my Artana Lightning Dash? Swift, he can resurrect brothers. himself and he can heal everyone around him. The cavern entrance. Yeah, he will. Together. We want to put him out front most of the time because he is, yeah, really tough. Our 
Tannis, we have nearly destroyed a major hive cluster. on these purifiers. Alright, what? Are there no rocks to destroy? I feel like... Guys did eight fifteen versus armor. Hmm. Oh, energizer with the buffs. Gross. Tannis soak the damage. Tannis basically cannot die. Several Nidus worms are defending the final power structure. My Dark Templar will aid you in destroying them. Okay. Let's see if that's true. Presumably this is the way to go. Oh, I see. There's the death behind us. Let's assassinate these guys. Oh, back to fun. Easy enough Before, achievements. The Psy Matrix will be no more. Apparently everyone has a nice purple Psy Beam reserved just for this purpose. You have done it, Artanis. We have stayed the Golden Armada's advance for now. Initiating dimensional recall. That was pretty sweet. Alright, we got all our little achievements here. We rocked it. Uh-huh. Okay. A new faction specialization, the Tall Dream. 
What's left? Capital ship? There's one capital ship slot left. Oh, ho, ho, ho. things look bleak. Talk to me, boys. I Borgia. cannot begin to understand the depth of your sorrow, Artanis. Such noble Templar now made a monstrosity. Those left trapped in a body controlled by Amon. It is the most horrific of fates. But what pains me is the uncertainty of facing them. They are my brothers. Sisters. When we strike these abominations, will our brethren bear witness within? Will they be silent watchers? Or are they already lost to oblivion? I can offer you little comfort or surety, my friend. But know what you do is the only course. True. True. Welcome, Hierarch. All right, we already prepared for a ground war, which we did not have the to fight just yet. The towering ships have warped in to strengthen our fleet. I must admit, they are quite impressive. All right, here is the mothership. We are the soul of strength. Whoa! Whoa! What? All right, you can only have one mothership at a time. Uh, black hole traps and stuns enemy units for eight seconds. And they can still be attacked. Thermal Lance deals 200 damage to all enemies in a straight line up to range 10 away. Blink teleports the mothership to a nearby. It can blink. Now, this thing obviously is awesome and as a caster pretty potent uh, but of course compared to what the carriers can do I'm afraid the mothership probably a poor choice uh, has plus if we lose it we have to wait forever uh, although that would be a good opportunity to use if you were fond of this chrono surge could probably instantly bring you back your mothership uh, but it will not bring it back at full power unless it starts that way, which seems unlikely. So I think the mothership is cool, but I'm not going to be using it for this mission. So uh, I think we are pretty prepared, unless there was something else I'm missing. Was there another? No, we've seen all these. No, I believe we are ready to go. All right, so let it begin. Oh, what I meant was. Uh, now that the Psi Matrix has fallen, let it begin next Amon episode. Not warp the Golden Armada back to Iyer to defend himself. We must destroy his host body before it fully awakens. For the sake of our people, we cannot falter. Uh huh. Destroy the Void Shard with the assistance of your allied Protoss forces. Destroy two Void Shards within 150 seconds of each other. That is two and a half minutes. All right, those all sound plausible. Um, we will save this for another episode. So let's wrap this one up right here. Friends, I know we're closing in the end. I know not whether this is the last mission, but uh, we do finally have our full array of options. Our Solar Core is prepared, our War Council briefed. And um, in the next episode, we will test our fate against Amon's new body and all the defenses, all, all the defensive forces that he can muster. If you would count me, your actions would have led to your downfall long ago. Oh, Alarak, giving us the wisdom of the bloodthirsty and crazed Taldarim, high on terrazine gas. And yet, it always sounds so good. So, until next episode, farewell, wish me luck. I will see you there.